Friends, have you ever think how the opening position of the control valve and the output percentage of transmitters and flow meters are calculated? If you also only guess, then this video is for you only. After watching this video, all your doubts will be cleared. Here we will tell you a simple formula due to which your calculation will be very simple and easy. But for this calculation, there is also a table. Take a look at it. Let's explain an easy way to make this table, which you will always remember. Usually, only 4 to 20 milliampere signal is used. So, first write 0%, now write 4 milliamperes in front of it. Write 100% in last, and write 20 milliamperes in front of it. We did this because the output is 0% to 100%. 50% will be written just in the middle of it, and 12 milliamperes will be written in front of it. Now write 25% between 0% and 50% and write 8 milliamperes in front of it. Write 75% between 50% and 100% and write 16 milliamperes in front of it. So, that was the table. Here you can also say that. On how many milliamperes, how much percent output will be there? You have understood this table. But if 40% valve is to be operated, then how many milliamperes will be feed? Or what will be the output? At 6 milliamperes, how would you tell this? For that, we can make a formula like this. First write 20, then write 4. Because we are using 4 to 20 milliamperes signal. Now, put a minus sign between them. 20 minus 4 is 16. Now suppose, the control valve is operated, Y percentage. So, write Y because, it is a percentage, and the percentage is out of 100, then, divide y by 100. This would be, y divided by, 100, and, add 4 to it. Now, the formula is, milliamperes equals, 16, multiplied by y, divided by 100, plus 4. You can use this formula, to check milliamperes at any percentage, for example, at 50% valve openings. 12 milliamperes signal will be there. This is what we saw in the table. You can check it by putting the values, put 50% in place of Y. And calculate, you will get 12 milliamperes. And this we have seen in the table. So, for 60% valve opening, how much milliamperes will be needed? You people, reply this. Let's make it easier. Let's see the table. Once when you look at the table carefully. For every 25% increase in output, 4 milliamperes are increasing. You can see this, from beginning to end, it means that. On increasing the output by 1%, 4 divided by 25 milliamperes will increase. On increasing the output by 5%, 4 divided by 25, multiplied by 5, milliamperes will increase. That means, 0 0.8 milliamperes will increase. So, on each 5%. 0 0.8 milliamperes are increasing. Now, you can check milliamperes on any output. For example, at 30% output, 0 0.8 milliamperes will be more than 8 milliamperes. 30% is just 5% more than 25%. So, 
0.8 milliamperes will increase and total we get 8.8 milliamperes isn't it so easy the formula which was mentioned just now from that percentage signal can be calculated according to milliamperes when you solve this formula then you will get the formula of percentage calculation also and if we calculate percentage suppose the percentage is y and it is equals to 100 multiplied by milliamperes minus 4 and divided by 20 minus 4 that means 16 let's take the example of what percentage output will be at 8 milliamperes so if you put the values in formula then you will get 100 and milliamperes are 8 so multiplied by 8 minus 4 and divided by 16 it will be 400 divided by 16 and it will be 25 percentage and this is absolutely correct now your formula has also been verified now you people reply what will be the percentage output at 10 milliamperes let's discuss in more simple way let's look at the table once again when you look at the table you will find that on 1 milliampere signal 6.25 percent output is increasing if friends you have to tell that what will be the percentage output at 15 milliamperes so you can easily tell this because at 16 milliamperes 75 percent is the output signal for 15 milliamperes subtract 6.25 percent from 75 percent and you will get the answer so you can do any calculations it is very easy to understand it was a calculation of linear output if you want to know how to calculate square root signal then comment we will make a video square root signal is used in flow calculation so that was our video thanks for watching if you like the video do like and share with your friends also press the bell icon for more updates and future uploads